unless a corn of wheat falls into the ground and dies. Now what does it mean? Brother George Walker, quite the old trooper, went over to Cuba and God did a great work through him there and saw scores of assemblies established. And we were over in the Bahamas together at a conference and we were walking along the shore and I said to him, Brother Walker, tell me, if somebody wanted to get involved in church planting, you've done that kind of work, what are the qualifications, what are the requirements for that? And he, he put his big arm around my shoulder and he said, JB, there's just one requirement. You got to die. Got to die to yourself and your dreams and your reputation and your plans. You just got to die. That's all. Well, the Lord Jesus told us that, didn't he? You want to live? You got to die. If you're going to help people, if you're going to be known as somebody who can help people, they usually don't show up between 9 and 5, you know, business hours. It's going to cut right across your plans. You can't be a keeper of days if you're going to be a real servant of the Lord Jesus. You know, a servant doesn't get to pick his holidays. And the Lord will make sure that there's a time to come apart and rest a while. But it won't always be on your schedule, on your day timer. Because somebody will come. When a man was fleeing the Avenger, he didn't usually show up during business hours. He'd stagger in at 2 in the morning. And you had to have the gates open. You had to be vulnerable. You had to be available for the phone call at 2 in the morning. I mean, they do it for AA. Some person who doesn't even know the Lord is willing to get in their car at 2 in the morning on a cold winter's night and drive over and sit with somebody who's tempted to go out to the bar. We ought to be willing at least to do that. Yeah, it'll, it'll cut across your plans, all right? Unless a corn of the wheat falls into the ground and dies. It had to die as a seed. It had to die to what it was in order to be something else, in order to be a plant. And you see, if we're going to bear fruit, we've got to die to ourselves, die to what we are to become what God wants us to be. That's the only way it can happen. It's expensive. But Jesus said it's worth it. I love the words of Madame Guillaume, who spent several years in solitary confinement in the Bastille for her faith in Christ. Her own family had her incarcerated there because she was such an influential woman. When she got saved, they thought her influence will spread. And so they had her incarcerated in the Bastille in Paris. She wrote some of the most beautiful poetry in any language. And one of her little poems says this, Adieu, ye vain delights of earth, insipid sport and childish mirth. I taste no sweets in you. All my delight is in the cross. All other joy to me is dross. And Jesus thought so too.